count on a stunning announcement late this afternoon for parents from Governor Gavin Newsom. We think it is totally inappropriate for kids to worry about coming back and being tested. Talking about this school year, Governor Newsom announcing today it's unlikely for kids to return to school for the remainder of this school year. So teachers are searching for different ways to keep kids learning. They're going to have to do this very quickly. One charter school in Kearney Mesa found a flexible way to deal with school closures in the wake of coronavirus. Could this catch on for other districts? NBC7's Lori Devine. These usually bustling hallways were empty today, but classes were taught at the same time as they were last Friday before schools were closed. So how is that possible? Well, welcome to Mrs. Geis' class. Part personal growth, part phys ed. I'm just asking you to do the best you possibly can. Ms. Guys teaches a class in strength of mind and body. I need you all to be solution oriented right now. Find a way to get it done. She teaches at a school that found a way to get it done despite school closures. I'll stay on here the whole time throughout the period. Set High, school for entrepreneurship and technology that quickly turned regular classrooms into virtual ones complete with a coach at her home. Ms. Marquez, do you have your hand up or that was still from earlier? Earlier? Okay. <laughs> Ready to give one-on-one -on -one help to students. My guinea pig's a guinea pig. She can't really help. My sister is a problem. Ninth grader Trent Thomas says, other than his mom and grandmother, there's not much help at home. He misses the face-to-face -face interaction with his teachers. I'm happy that I can just grab myself a cookie or something. And then there are the distractions at home, like Peach, what are you doing? Peaches, his guinea pig. Peach, Peach, stop eating my thing. I became a teacher to be in a classroom with my students. Um, I, that's my, that's what I love about it. This guy says she misses the face-to-face -face interaction with her students, but says at Set High, there already is that connection. We've already built these relationships. So when I say, hey, you need to get to this link and you got to show up online, they hit the link and they show up online. In, in last class, a little bit harder. It's working. Um, it's working so far. Uh, so, so I'm happy for what it has to be and uh, it's working in that way. Yes, good question. All kidding aside, our friend Trent and the other students say they're very happy with the way their school handled the school closures. Coming up with a plan and making it happen. Learning on so many levels. Reporting, I'm Marie Devine, NBC7.